All right, so guys, this is number 10 out of 11.1, and it says uh, an experimental serum was injected into 500 guinea pigs, and then it says initially 150 of the guinea pigs had circular cells, 75 had elliptical cells, and 275 had irregular cells. After the serum was injected, none of the guinea pigs with, with circular cells were affected. 50 of the elliptical uh, 50 with the elliptical cells were affected, and all of those with the irregular cells were affected. Determine the empirical probability that a guinea pig with A, circular cells, uh, and then we'll do parts B and C, will be affected by the injection of the serum. Okay, so remember, the first thing we're looking at right now is circular cells, right? So the first thing I need to figure out is how many of those, remember, we have 500 guinea pigs but some of them have circular cells. So the ones that have circular cells are right here. Let me make sure, okay, 150 of them, right? Okay, so when I'm doing part A, we know that there's 150 that have circular cells, right? Okay, and let's see. Um, okay, so I'm gonna erase a little bit, guys, because I don't wanna mess anything up here, but if you notice right here, it says none of the guinea pigs with circular cells were affected. So none of them would be zero. So zero out of 150 is just gonna be zero, okay? So I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna enter my answer in and it's just gonna be zero. And okay, we got the first part, right? Okay, so now let's do part B. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do part B. Upload my picture. And there we go. Okay, so now we're looking at the ones that have elliptical cells. So remember, the number of pigs that had elliptical cells were 75. So that's gonna be my denominator. These are the ones with the, oops, elliptical cells, right? And so look, look what it tells me right here. It says 50 with the elliptical cells were affected. So it's 50 out of 75. So all I'm gonna do, y'all, is I'm gonna go ahead and just simplify that fraction. So we can actually divide them both by 25, right? It's supposed to be a division sign. So 25 goes into 50 twice and into 75 three times. So my answer is gonna be two thirds. So right here, I'm gonna enter in two divided by three. Check my answer, perfect. And then part C says, let's see, here we go. Now we can do part C. Okay, so the empirical probability that a guinea pig with irregular cells. Okay, so let's figure out how many of these guinea pigs had irregular cells. So we had 275 with irregular cells, right? Oops. Regular cells, okay. And look what it says right here. And all of them with irregular cells were infected. So all 275. So 275 over 275 is just going to leave me with 1, okay? And so right here, y'all, I'm just going to enter in the number 1, and we got our problem, right? So, guys, the one thing we really got to be uh, kind of just aware of is when you're doing this problem here, I'm just going to come back to my slide so I can write on the screen. A lot of times we want to use the denominator of 500 in this problem, but because they're being real specific with the circular, the elliptical, and the regular, that's why I was using... Uh, the denominators like 150, 75, and 275, okay? Y'all got any questions? Let me know. I'm happy to help.